In today's class, we are going to learn how to complete an ANOVA table. We are looking at the question on the screen. Given five hybrid tomato varieties laid out in a complete randomized block designed with theory replicates, compute an ANOVA table for the numbers of fruits per 15 meters squared generated from the experiment. You can see from this question, we are given some values on this table. So we are asked to complete the table by filling those values that we are not given. Okay, let's complete this ANOVA table. We've been given that the numbers of replicates is 3. The variety is what? 5. Don't forget that variety is also known as treatment. You understand? So you, you might come across question that instead of variety, they put treatment. You understand? So variety is also known as what? Treatment. Okay. So we have the source of duration. We have DF. DF stands for degree of freedom. You understand? SS. SS stands for sum of square. You understand? Mean square is MS. And we have F calculated and we have F tabulated at 5% and 1% respectively. If you've watched, if you are part of the class that we had on ANOVA table, both complete randomized design and uh, randomized complete block design, um, you shouldn't find this difficult to complete. You understand? So just pay attention. Now let's start with the column of degree of freedom. Okay? Don't forget that in our previous class, degree of freedom, I told you that degree of freedom is given by this formula. DF is equal to N minus 1. You understand? Okay? So, to get the total degree of freedom, we have to first know the total numbers of plants, you understand? The total numbers of uh, the samples, the total numbers of observation, you understand? We have to first know it. Now, to determine the total numbers of observation, total numbers of observation, Tn is equal to the total, num total variety multiplied by the replicate. Are you getting it? Total variety or total treatment multiplied by replicate. Don't forget that a typical ANOVA, uh, uh, I mean, this is how our design always look like. You understand? If you are part of the class, you shouldn't find this difficult to answer, okay? We have variety, we have, and we have our samples in these cells. These cells will contain the total numbers of samples. Maybe we have V1, V2, V3, V4, and V5. All this place we have, we are going to have all our observations, all our samples in the cells. Maybe, I don't know, maybe you remember in our class. If you have not watched the video, you can check the link in the description of this video. Click on that link to watch the randomized complete design and complete, uh, randomized complete block design and complete randomized design. So let us proceed. So to get the total numbers of samples, Tn is equal to the total variety, which is 5, multiplied by what? Tr. See, total numbers of replicates, that is the numbers of time each variety repeats themselves, that is 3. So 5 times 3 is what? 15. So the total numbers of sample is what? 15. Now, having gotten the total numbers of sample, we can get the total degree of freedom. The, the total degree of freedom, TDF, is equal to N minus 1, that is N minus 1. And N is what? 15. So I'm going to have 15 minus 1, that is what? 14. So the total degree of freedom is 14. Please, do you understand how I got this? If you didn't understand how to compute an ANOVA table, you might find this difficult to understand. So I beseech you to check the description of this video. Click on that link to watch on um, how I solve um, a typical ANOVA uh, table problem using complete randomized design and randomized complete block design. Okay? So now let us proceed. We have gotten the degree of freedom for total. Now let's get the degree of freedom for replicates. Don't forget that how many replicates do we have? We have three replicates, which is this. Now, to get the degree of freedom for replicates, replicates, let me erase this. So, replicate degree of freedom, that is RDF, is equal to the total numbers of replicates, that is TR minus 1. Okay? So, how many replicates do we have? We have three. So, I'm going to have three minus one, that is what? Two. Do you understand? Okay, let's get the variety degree of freedom. Variety degree of freedom is equal to the total numbers of variety that we have. That is uh, Vn. Sorry. Uh, maybe let me just put Tv minus 1. You see, the most important thing that is you know you should know the uh, your representative. You know, Tv in my own case is total numbers of variety that I have. So for this, I'm going to have N, um, 5 
minus 1, that is what? 4. So the total, uh, the degree of freedom for variety is what? 4. Do you understand? Okay? So now, how do we get the help of degree of freedom? Yeah. To get the help of degree of freedom, we are going to take the difference, add both the replicate degree of freedom together with that of the variety and subtract it from our total degree of freedom. That is, the error degree of freedom, EDF, is equal to the total degree of freedom minus the sum of replicate degree of freedom plus um, variety degree of freedom. Let me just put it. Do you understand the meaning of this formula? That is, the error degree of freedom is equal to the difference between the total degree of freedom and the sum of replicate degree of freedom and um, variety degree of freedom. So let's proceed. The error freedom now becomes EDF is equal to total degree of freedom is 14. 14 minus the sum of 2 and 4. Do you understand? So, so error degree of freedom is equal to 14 minus 6, which is what? 8. So the degree of freedom here is what? 8. Please, do you understand how I am getting the value of each cells? So, we have completed the column of degree of freedom. Now, let's proceed to uh, the how do we get the column of sum of square. Now, let's proceed to the column of the sum of square. We have already gotten the, they have already given us the sum of square for total. That is total sum of square. Now, we have to calculate the replicate sum of square, the variety sum of square, and the error sum of square. The formula for calculating sum of square is the product of mean square and degree of freedom. Note, sum of squared, hey, sorry, let me get a good one. Sum of squared, SS, is equal to mean squared, mean squared, multiplied by degree of freedom. Do you understand? It is important that you remember this formula, okay? It is very important. Now, let us get the replicate sum of squared. So, replicate sum of squared, replicate sum of squared is equal to replicate mean squared RMS multiplied by replicate degree of freedom. Do you understand? Okay, so replicate sum of squared is equal to what is the replicate mean squared? This is it 2815.51. Two that is the replicate mean squared. So, uh, I'm going to have 2815.51 multiplied by replicate degree of freedom. The degree of freedom for replicate is 2. So I'm going to have multiply 2. So replicate sum of squared is equal to, if you punch your calculator, you are going to get 5631.02. Do you understand how I got that? 5631.02. So the value of these cells is 5631.02. Okay, so let's get the variety of uh, the variety sum of square. Variety sum of square is equal to um, variety mean squared multiplied by variety degree of freedom. Okay, so variety sum of square is equal to variety mean square is 12781.39. Point three nine multiplied by variety degree of freedom, which is 4. Do you understand? Okay, so that is 4. So variety sum of squared is equal to 12781.31 multiplied by 4. That is 5125.24. 5125.24. So the value of these cells is 51125.24. Do you understand how I got all this value? If you didn't understand, kindly pay attention. You know, we are given that the replicate mean square is this, and the replicate degree of freedom, we have already calculated. We are given that the variety mean square is this, and the variety degree of freedom is 4. Now, to get the replicate sum of squared, the relationship between sum of squared and mean square and degree of freedom is this. Sum of squared is equal to mean squared multiplied degree of freedom. So, replicate sum of squared is replicate mean squared multiplied degree of freedom. You understand? And variety mean squared and variety sum of squared is the product of the variety mean squared and variety degree of freedom. Do you understand? Okay, let's get the error sum of, I mean, error sum of squared. The error sum of squared, let me put it here, error sum of squared is equal to total sum of squared minus the sum of replicate sum of squared 
and the right sum of squared. Do you understand? So, ever sum of squared is equal to total sum of squared. Total sum of squared is 858818.52 minus replicate sum of squared. Replicate sum of squared is 563. 5631.02 plus the right sum of squared, which is 51125. 0.24 you understand so the error sum of squared is equal to um if you punch your calculator add both of these together you are going to get 85818.52 minus 567 567.56.26 okay please do you understand how i got to this point if you didn't understand, you will revert the video and watch it again. Okay? So let us proceed. So the error sum of squared is equal to 29. Okay, if you take the difference, that is 29062.26. So the value of these cells is 29062.26. Please, can you see my writing? 29062.26. Okay, so we have completed the table for sum of squared. Now let's get the mean square. We have we have been given the mean square of replicate and the mean square of variety. We only need to get the mean square, the total mean square, and the error mean squared. So to get the total mean squared, don't forget that sum of squared is equal to mean squared multiplied by degree of freedom. So, if you make mean squared the subject of the relation, we are going to have sum of squared is equal to mean squared multiplied degree of freedom. Divide both sides by degree of freedom. So, this degree of freedom will cancel the degree of freedom. So, mean squared is equal to sum of squared over degree of freedom. Do you understand how I got this? You know, I want to get the total mean squared, but the relationship between mean squared sum of squared and degree of freedom is this okay it's just like making mean squared the subject of the relation in this expression um, in this formula okay so let's proceed to get the total mean squared now total mean squared is equal to the total sum of squared all over the total degree of freedom you understand so the total sum of squared is what total sum of squared is 858 85 818.52 divided by the total degree of freedom which is 14 so the total mean squared is equal to if you punch your calculator you are going to get 6129.89 6129.89 so the total mean squared is 6129.89 so the value of this cells is 6129.89 so let us get the uh, the error mean squared the error mean square can be gotten by dividing the error sum of squared by the error degree of freedom, just like I did for the total um, the total mean squared. So error mean squared, error mean squared is equal to the error sum of squared all over the error degree of freedom. So the error mean squared is equal to error sum of squared is what? Uh, that is 29062, 29062.26 divided by error degree of freedom which is 8 okay the error mean squared is equal to 29062 divided by um 29062 divided by 8 that is 0. Point, no i think something is off 362 36 32.78 36.32.78 please do you understand how i got this you see, this thing is very simple if you understand the rudiment. That's why I do compel you to watch the previous video that we had on this analysis of Hagan so that you understand how we come about this. Okay? So look, you know the relationship between sum of squared and mean squared and degree of freedom is this. I make, because I'm looking for the mean square of total and the mean square of error, I make mean square the subject of the relation here. So I got this. Okay? So after getting this, I substitute the value of the sum of squared and degree of freedom into this formula. I get the total mean squared. Then I substitute the uh, the values of sum of squared for error and the degree of freedom for error into this formula, which is this. I got the value here. So that's that's it. Just understand the basics, okay? 
So now let us proceed. So the value of these cells is 36. Oh, sorry. 36. 36. Uh, 32.78. So now, from this table, we've been given that the critical value, which is F tabulated for replicate and variety at 5% and 1%, is this and this respectively. Now, how do we determine the F calculated of replicate and variety? Because that's only the F calculated that I'm interested in. The formula for F calculated is this F calculated is equal to uh, mean squared all over error mean squared. Error mean squared. That is the mean square of the source of variation that we are looking for. I mean, the F calculated of the source of variation that we are looking for is equal to the mean square of that source of variation divided by the error mean squared. Do you understand? No, now I want to determine the F calculated for replicates. F calculated for replicates is equal to uh, replicate mean squared all over the error mean squared. Do you understand? Okay. Now, replicate mean square is 281, 2815.51 all over the error mean squared. The error mean squared is what? 362, 362, oh, 36, 32, sorry. That is 3632.78. Okay. If you point your calculator, you are going to get 0 0.077. 0 uh, 0.7750. So that is the um, F calculated for um, the replicate. Okay. F calculated for replicate. That is 0 0.7750. Please, do you understand how I got this? This is the formula for calculating the F calculated. F calculated is equal to mean squared all over error mean squared. So, I'm looking for F calculated for of replicates. That will be a replicate mean squared all over error mean squared. And a replicate mean squared is this, from this table. So, I got this as the F calculated for replicates. Now, let's calculate the F calculated for um, for variety. Variety FK. FK for variety. Okay? That will be variety mean squared all over error mean squared. So variety mean squared is 127, 127.81.39 all over error mean squared. Error mean squared is what? Um, 3632.78. So if you point your calculator, you're going to get 3.52. So this will be 3.52. So the value here is 3.52. Okay, so we have completed the ANOVA table. Please, if this video has been helpful to you, please kindly hit the like button and drop a comment. You understand? Comment on the video. Tell me how the video is doing. You understand? So that the algorithm can suggest this to more viewers. Okay, thank you very much for your support.